Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Wes Boucher, and I'm a model out of Southern California. And the goal of my channel is to take my years of experience in the industry and hopefully relay that to you guys uh, to help out with anything related to style, health and fitness, grooming and beyond. And since you're here, if you wanna help me out, go ahead and click that subscribe button and click alert so that you know the second I upload a video and when it goes live. And some more ways to get connected to me outside of YouTube would be Instagram and Facebook. Uh, it'll be the same handles you see on screen for both platforms, so hopefully we can connect on there as well. Okay, after many requests, uh, today's video is gonna be my top 10 shoes that I think every guy should have in his closet. Now that's gonna cover everything from uh, dressy all the way to super casual. All right, so I'm gonna try my best to provide a link in the description of every shoe you see in this video so that you can try to track down the exact one if you really like the ones I have. Uh, may or may not be possible just based on things still being in stock or uh, newer styles coming out, but I will do my best, like I said, to provide an alternative otherwise in the video description below. All right, so I'm gonna go from dressy to super casual in that order, so you can skip ahead if you want. Um, so what I like to wear uh, when it comes to uh, dress pants, uh, slacks of all types, and even black denim, um, I'm gonna go with a black leather uh, monk strap uh, a shoe here. Uh, this is by Aldo. Um, I really love this clean design. It's really sleek and European. Uh, the taper at the toe is really nice. Uh, so yeah, that is a must have. So next up would be a brown dress shoe that's uh, leather as well. This is uh, by Gordon Rush. Um, you could do the monk strap style or kind of this more traditional style. This is gonna go with everything, but uh, brown and black is kind of how I roll for a majority of the shoes I wear. Uh, just to have the options obviously uh, for different tones of uh, suits and pants and whatnot. All right, now that we're moving into the dress casual realm, uh, not to say that you couldn't wear this uh, as full dress, but I will say that the Chelsea is very versatile. Uh, definitely one of my favorite style of boots. It's so easy to just slip on and off. Uh, it's got a little bit of elastic stretch, um, almost every design I've seen. Um, I like to go with kind of this tan shade, uh, but obviously they come in dark brown and black, and that would be a good option uh, in terms of just having a couple more colorways. So I'm probably gonna buy those uh, fairly soon. I've just been really amped on the tan, and I just tend, tend to go with everything, so. Oh, forgot to mention, uh, this is another boot by Aldo that I love. This, their, their sizing is really great, and like I said, most of their uh, shapes are European, which I prefer because I actually have really big feet. I have size 12, pushing 12 and a half. Um, so I'm always trying to uh, make the appearance of my feet look a little bit smaller and sleeker. All right, getting into uh, a little bit more on the casual side, but you could consider it somewhat dress. Uh, I'm gonna go with uh, calling this a motorcycle style boot. Um, I ride and I do prefer this style. Uh, it's very quick and easy with the one side zip. Um, I am not uh, paid to say this, but this is another Aldo boot. I just really like this brand. I have, I've been wearing them for pl 10 plus years. Not this particular boot, but I have others. Uh, really well made, very lightweight, which I said I have big feet. I just love that they're not that bulky. Um, I find that the dark brown works for almost anything. And obviously with any of these boots, you can go with other colorways of your choice. I'm more so just letting you guys know about the styles that are really great to have that are paired with all your denim. Um, and just work really well and are, in my opinion, are current looking but not ultra trendy. I think they're just really nice classic styles for the most part, so yep, check that one out. All right, now we're getting in the full casual realm. Um, gotta have a white Converse, uh, in my opinion. It's just a must have because it's such a classic style. This happens to be the Jack Purcell version of these chucks. Um, the only difference is just kind of this this little tip right here it has a little accent color and um, just the overall build and look of the shoe is just a little bit more refined. Um, I would say that you could also look into a white uh, sneaker that is a leather. Um, this happens to be kind of that canvas finish um, because then you could use that as a little bit of a uh, dress casual hybrid. 
And probably not a big surprise, but you gotta have a classic black chuck, in my opinion. This is gonna go with anything and everything, and it never really has gone out of style for decades. A lot of all the casual shoes that I'm mentioning, I wear it with black denim primarily, or a dark blue denim. I just find that those two shades always look the best. Um, sometimes I'll wear lighter denim, uh, like a lighter blue, but for the most part, I'm, I'm just doing black and dark, dark blue all the time, so. All right, still in the casual realm. Um, whenever I go to the gym, I'm usually looking for two types of shoes. One that's more on the firm side, one that's kind of a hybrid, that's got a softer sole. This, that would be this, this is the Nike React. I believe this, is this particular version that's black on black or gray on black is the Element 55. I absolutely love these shoes. They're super lightweight and very thin material. Um, you probably will see that uh, a, a trend in style too is to wear an athletic shoe with denim and like just kind of a full casual outfit. So there's that option as well, but I primarily use these for the gym um, exclusively. Um, and you might hear something rolling around in here. These sneaker balls are amazing. I wish I, I would have known about these sooner. I've bought like multiple packs of them, but they basically just uh, take care of like odor and moisture and I just keep them in my shoes um, after every, you know, gym session and all my casual ones too. So I'll have a link for these in the video description as well. My next go-to shoe when I'm in the gym is the Nike Air 270s. Uh, these are a much firmer shoe than the uh, Reacts that I just mentioned. Love this shoe, also lightweight and basically goes with every outfit. Um, I still like to look stylish in the gym. I still like to uh, match colors and whatnot. So tend to go with a gray and uh, black and then the black and white, can't go wrong. All right, this next shoe uh, I wear all throughout summer and being in San Diego, I kind of have an extended summer. And I also love to have it for vacationing. It just screams vacation, uh, especially anything that's tropical or beach related. Um, the actual way to pronounce uh, this shoe is, I should know this, it's pretty embarrassing that I don't, forgive me, uh, but it's it's like espadrilles, drilles, I don't know. I, I know it's embarrassing, I should know. Anyways, they're slip on, slip off, obviously, really comfortable, and they just have that beachy, casual vibe. They go really good with a nice pair of shorts and maybe like a white button up. Um, it's gonna be a great look uh, for something like this. Casual, but still very stylish. Oh, my bad, and these are by Ben Sherman, this particular pair. And last but not least, the classic sandal. I like to go with a simple black. These are by Fry, they're very comfortable. Uh, another alternative could be rainbow sandals, but I do feel like these are very sleek and they just look uh, high end, I guess, because they're just really clean and well made. Uh, yeah, I'm in San Diego again, so maybe this isn't a top 10 shoe for you, but I've got to have it. I wear it a lot all year with the weather here, and uh, if you do vacation, you got to have this. So that would be the last shoe. All right, so that wraps up kind of my Desert Island top 10 shoes I got to have on hand all year that go with everything and anything in my wardrobe. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, maybe I totally spaced and was a moron and I totally overlooked some really obvious style. I tried to again gather the ones I wear most. Um, always open to suggestions to try out some other brands, so let me know in the comments below, like I said. Um, I do get back to comments probably a week or two after a video goes live, so just hang in there as there's so many comments that it's just hard for one human to keep up with all of them. But that's amazing, so I wanna thank you guys uh, for being so engaged on my channel. It means a lot, the growth has been amazing. Uh, every month it grows about 5,000 subscribers, so that is super encouraging, so thank you. Uh, that would not happen without you guys. So again, I wanna keep bringing content to, uh, that you want to see, so leave any suggestions below. Uh, what else before I go? Um, oh, my clothing line, so I'm just, if you haven't been on my channel, haven't been following me for a while, um, I'm starting a menswear line, or I did, I should say, as of this year in 2019, and uh, actually I'm about to receive the main order of all my clothes uh, this coming Friday. Uh, so this is towards uh, late October at this point, if you're seeing this video. I'm hoping to launch in the next two weeks, fingers crossed. There's just a lot of things uh, being self-funded in DIY that I can't project or know because I'm new to all this, but I will say that everything is um, on schedule and that the clothing is turning out amazing. This is one of the tops. This is the light, uh, lightweight uh, gray fitted sweater. So right now you can uh, give me a follow on Instagram to check out the line and then also go to westonjamboucher.com um, and you can browse the site and look at all the shots uh, that we recently took for the e-com 
so you can see the clothes uh, in better detail. So anyways, make sure you guys uh, sign up for the mailing list while you're there because that's gonna let you know when the brand launches and you're gonna be able to know about any sales and because uh, there's gonna be limited inventory since I just started this brand, I can't buy you know, a huge order right off the bat. So things will sell quick. So make sure you go on there now and click email when available because that's gonna let me know what size and what you want. And it's gonna notify you the second it's in stock when everything goes live. And I'm all set up with my fulfillment company. Whew, that was a lot of information. Anyways, if you stuck around this long, thank you so much. And again, click that subscribe button before you go. I will see you guys next time.